In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let's take a moment and admit that we are indeed sinners, and that we stand in great need of the divine mercy, the love that God has for all of us, if we merely admit that we need it. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Father all-powerful, your gifts of love are countless and your goodness infinite. As we come before you to celebrate Thanksgiving with gratitude for your kindness, open our hearts to have concern for every man, woman, and child so that we may share your gifts in loving service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed is the name of the Lord forever. Praise your servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord both now and forever. Blessed be the the name name of the Lord Lord forever. forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name name of the Lord Lord forever. forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? Blessed be the The name name of the Lord 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 forever. forever. He raises up the lowly from the dust, from the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. Blessed be the the name name of the Lord Lord forever. forever. A reading from the book of Sirach. And now bless the God of all who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters people's growth for their mother's wound and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you your joy of heart and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, 10 persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice, and he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, we're celebrating tonight uh, the, the Vigil Mass for the uh, secular holiday of Thanksgiving. Uh, here at the Catholic Church, we celebrate Thanksgiving every time we have a Mass because that's what the word Eucharist means, Thanksgiving in Greek. Uh, however, on this secular holiday, as we think about what to be thankful for, what are we thinking of? I had a big long list in the bulletin this last Sunday uh, that I hope you kind of realize what it took to put a turkey on the table or a ham or whatever you put on the table. But just stop and think of being here in the church. Do we ever give thanks to the people who built this church? Do we give thanks to the people who kept it alive for 100 years? Do we give thanks to the people who keep it clean, the people who turn on the lights? Do we give thanks for the gift of wine and water so that we can celebrate our Mass? And for somebody in a vineyard somewhere who picked those grapes, stepped on them with their feet, got them turned into wine? Do we think of the farmer who gave us the grain and the guy who milled it to make the flour? and somebody who made the stove to bake the bread? Do we give thanks? And if you notice, every one of those thanks is for people. We don't give thanks for the fact that the church is here, but we give thanks that it's here because of people. And as we celebrate tomorrow the Feast of Thanksgiving, we should certainly be mindful of all of the people men, women, children, everybody, to whom we should be thankful that we have tomorrow. We don't have to be there. Mom and dad didn't have to have us. Our teachers didn't have to teach us. The priests didn't have to have masses for us. People. And so as we gather for Thanksgiving, we should be the one from the nine who comes to give thanks to God, to say, thank you, Lord, for all of the people who make it possible for me to be here. But we also have a couple of other readings today, and that, again, if you noticed in the reading from Corinthians, uh, Paul is very clear. I give thanks to my God always on your account for your grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus that in him you are enriched in every way. And again, that's people. Paul says we ought to be thankful for people. And not the people who made us here, but how about the people we keep here? The people who we reach out into their lives touch them in so many ways. Some of us by the work we do, some of us by the words we say, some of us by the ministries we celebrate here in the church. But it's, it's a two-way street. Not only to give thanks for the people who work on our behalf, but for the people on whose behalf we work. And so Paul reminds us, be thankful for what you have done 
for others because you didn't have to do it. But in your kindness, your generosity, your imitation of God himself, you did it. But then we have the book of Sirach, a little short reading, and it's all about the ultimate thanks that we owe to our God. And now, bless the God of all who has done wondrous things. So with all of the people we are thankful for, above and beyond all of that, we should be thankful to God. Thankful to God for putting a twinkle in mom and dad's eye. Thankful to God for giving us air to breathe, water to drink, the seasons to appreciate the beauty of the change that our earth can undergo just in a couple of weeks to give thanks to God. So we thank those who assist us on our pilgrim way. We give thanks to the, for those to whom we give help on their pilgrim way, and we give thanks to God who is the destination for our pilgrim way. But there's a line in here that I think um, uh, is very meaningful. You know, this last uh, week, uh, Bishop Thomas uh, became chairman of the uh, Right to Life Committee of the United States Catholic Conference. Isn't it interesting that our, our reading from Sirach is a Right to Life reading? Now, Bless the God of all who fosters people's growth from their mother's womb and fashions them according to his will. If we truly proclaimed that and, and lived that and taught that, we wouldn't have had to worry about how the vote was going to go on issue one a couple of weeks ago. Because if we truly understood and taught and believed that God fashions that little child, that God fosters their growth in the womb, that God has a purpose for them. Would anyone ever terminate the life of a little one? No. So as we hear this reading, let us be thankful for all those who are battling to bring about a great respect for the dignity of every human person whether they're six minutes old, and I mean in the womb, that's what this story is about, or 106 years old, and everywhere in between. Every every person has a purpose given by God, and it is our responsibility to give thanks for what God has called them to be, what God has called them to do, and to make every effort to assist them so that they can give thanks as well. as we gather for Thanksgiving in our church, Eucharist, and to celebrate Thanksgiving and the community around us, let us raise our voices in prayer to our God. For the church, that we may always be grateful for the blessings God showers upon us and practice that gratitude through the sharing of our blessings with others. Atherna Aishlin. Atherna Aishlin Roshta. For our nation's leaders, that they may be filled with gratitude in the exercise of their duties. Atherna Aishlin. Atherna Aishlin Roshta. For those in our country's country whose forebearers were treated unjustly, and for those who still suffer injustice and poor treatment that they may come to know the fruits of justice and healing. Atherna Aishlin. Atherna Aishlin Rushta. That those who are served Thanksgiving meals at shelters, soup kitchens, and churches may continue to receive needed food throughout the year. Atherna Aishlin. Atherna Aishlin Rushta. 
For those who find gratitude and a sense of thanksgiving difficult, whether due to illness, sorrow, or anxiety, that through our care they may experience God's love and compassion. Atherna Aislinn. Atherna Aislinn Rosta. For the members of the historic Church of St. Patrick, Atherna Aislinn. Atherna Aislinn Rosta. Almighty and loving God, as we celebrate in your presence Thanksgiving, we pray that in our celebration we might never forget that it is you who provide for all our needs and answer our prayers in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this bread which we offer to you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us spiritual food. Lord, may the mingling of this water and wine make us partakers in your divinity. As you humbled yourself, to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this wine which we offer to you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us spiritual drink. Lord, be pleased with this sacrifice which we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my sins, Cleanse me of all of my iniquities. Thank you. My sisters and brothers, pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. God, our Father, from whose hand we have received generous gifts so that we might learn to share your benefits and, and blessings and gratitude, accept these gifts of bread and wine and let the perfect sacrifice of Jesus draw us closer to all our brothers and sisters in the human family, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. You have entrusted to us the great gift of freedom, a gift that calls forth responsibility and commitment to the truth that all have a fundamental dignity before you. In Jesus, through his death and resurrection, we find our ultimate redemption, freedom from sin and every blessing. And so with hearts full of love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by that same spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we bring to you for consecration, so that they might become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he himself took bread, prayed the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, 
saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Patrick, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Daniel our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you offer us all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us share with those around us a sign of God's peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace with you.
Matthew's video. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. In this celebration, O Lord our God, you have shown us the depths of your love for all of your children. Help us, we pray, to reach out in love to all your people so that we may share with them the good things of time and eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Just a quick announcement, uh, beginning next Wednesday and the Wednesdays before Christmas uh, during Advent, we will be having Eucharistic adoration beginning at four o'clock uh, here in the church and then that will be followed by the regular 5.30 Mass. So you may wanna come and just spend some time in the presence of the Lord and perhaps uh, try to listen, see what he has to say to you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our celebration has ended. Let's go to live the Gospels with our lives. <laughs>